Hello guys, welcome back to a new video of Warabout and this is actually Broly here coming with a new video of the test server 2.9 and as you can see in this test server we're having some real shit in the game uh, Pixon uh, decided to implement a new medium weapon to the game and that weapon is the uh, as you can see the prototype medium this weapon is kinda like the uh, Zeus but its range is way little than the Zeus. Maybe the range is around uh, 500 meters. But the thing which is cool about this weapon is that its damage increases when you get closer to your opponents. Uh, when you are around the 400 meters, your damage is around uh, 1000 DPS. And when you get close to your opponents, your damage gets to 3000 DPS This is what I've seen in the mail If you want to know, get more information about this weapon it, I'll be posting the uh, stats or data on the description Feel free just to check them if you want to have uh, more information about it And also, th uh, those who want to try the test server The prototype medium has a price of 5000 gold and it's quite expensive and it took almost on my goal as you can see I only have 814 left yeah, that's quite a lot also the will be continuing with the Zeus because they made quite some improvement on it although I've done a video before I'll be posting that on above and we'll be continuing also with the Mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 3 because uh, we have been receiving a lot of complaints from uh, players that the double dash is too overpowered and Pixonic is taking that into serious consideration if I can say so I won't stay too much I'll be showing that uh, you guys the gameplay of the of the prototype medium okay I'll be going for the 3D view this is how the Prototype medium look like much like uh, clips, and they have a small cannon. There's a cannon in the middle. The design is quite cool, but the price is very high though 5,000 5, gold. That's a lot. So, for now, let's go direct to the battle. Okay, quite nice map. We landed in Shenzhen. So it's a nice opportunity to try the new prototype medium. We'll be landing with the Mark II. Okay, for the Mark II, let's try out the dash. If they decrease the dash, I might know. Okay, the dash. Okay. Whoa! Let's check out the lightning. Okay, the lightning fires, fires automatically. Uh, if you get keep on getting closer, the damage increases. Oh yeah, I like it. Also, they made some changes to the controls. They made the uh, turns lighter. Man, those lightnings! So as you can see, the lightning keeps on firing automatically. Just have to push uh, the button once, and it keep on firing on on its own. Wow, that's impressive. The lightning can switch targets though. Same like the, the Zeus. Okay, let's try to get closer. Man. That she's gonna get down pretty soon. Okay, switch targets now. And I'm wrecking that guy. Okay, okay. I should not stay here too much. Okay. 
Man, his health is draining my health. Oh crap, I should. Dude, watch out. Okay, I'm done. So, as you can see, the Pretty Sand Medium is really powerful. And I really like it though. So, now I'll be going with the Mark 1. They've done some. They've done some changes to the dashes, and they've decreased the distance. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> okay, uh, these guys are going to the home beacon. Okay, we need to back those guys. Okay, nice job. Let's go grab beacons. Oh, getting, getting wrecked by those for that medium. Oh no. Oh no. Not getting me. And not getting me. Oh, thank you. Much obliged. So, I'll be continuing with the discussion. So, in this test server, there are. Improving the Nericum too. They are redesigning the Nericum and they've increased its range from uh, 900 meters to 1100 meters. That's uh, quite a chain they made there. Okay, what happened? Didn't know. Okay, let's try the Zeus now. Let's see what that Zeus can do. So they make quite some adjustment. I guess they've increased the damage or the aiming. Uh, but I see the real time is still the same. <laughs> But the pretty damn medium is really cool. Uh, the damage keep on increasing when you get closer. That's really nice. But I think it's too overpowered. As you can see, I used it on my Mark II, and it was really powerful. Now, if you put that on the Fujin, that's gonna they're gonna wreck it. The one pretty damn medium gonna wreck the stage. Okay, the juice is good. Two, one. Got him. I think Shenzhen is good for the prototype medium and other maps such as the that such as uh, Springfield and Yamato. They're really good for the prototype medium. Why did Fujin? Because I already got him. Some of the shields coming. Okay, I'm gonna get tracked. So, this is all what we have for the Zeus. Okay, Mark 3. Let's see what they've done to your shield. Let's go and wreck this rhino. We're gonna make, we're gonna go over there. Okay, reload. Got him. <laughs> that rhino. So, about the current game. The Nericum is. I haven't tried Nericum yet, but I might try it later. I'm on the. Uh, oh crap. I should not have this, this place. Okay, the Lancelot's coming.
Okay, got him. Alright, well, see quite some damage though. Okay, I didn't use the shield. Okay, perfect timing. Okay, I think the only guy left is that Raijin. Wow, that dude's... Okay, we won. Okay, let's check the stats. Okay, five gold. Nice. Whoa, I'm in first place. That's cool. Okay, close. Let's go back to the hangar and continue the discussion. So, about the Noricom, they've, uh, I told you earlier, they've increased the range from uh, 900 meters to 1100 meters. And that will prove quite an advantage for the Noricom and also for the guy who like long range weapon because Nurkum is quite uh, a weapon just like the Talonbass or Pinata but but on different but it comes in different angles. I like it. The damage that Nurkum do is quite in a wide area and based on the level of Nurkum it's uh, damage that uh, a bullet does is about 1000 134. Let me check that. Okay. I need to get on a medium robot. Let's check this out. Okay. To stall. Okay. They don't. Okay. We need to switch bot. Okay. Let's switch my my Gareth into something else. Okay, put it that dashes. Let's put it on my jail pattern. Equip with uh, full Noricum, if you can. Okay, it has a uh, 15 second recharge reloading time. And bullets does uh, 11, 1,069 damage, and the range is 900. But they've made it around 1,100. I'll be posting the I'll I'll be posting the uh, data on the comment section. Okay. Okay, I'll be equipping it in our gel pattern. I'm looking for four of them. Just testing those guys. As you can see, the uh, Gecko 2 has a nice design, but I like the previous one. The previous one is kind of uh, new and modern. This one is kind of technified and too mechanic, too many screws in it. <laughs> so it goes for the Pinata. The Pinata is red, but uh, resemble like the guns from. Star Wars, yeah. The pin resembles like a clip, like a, a stretch clip, like that. But I like the uh, the previous design. Yeah, this one. This one got a uh, seven out of ten, from my opinion, on the design. Okay, I'll be putting another one. Okay, to hangar. Let's go to the free and go see them. Okay, the design is not quite that bad, and I guess they've increased the number of the of the rockets. 
quite some nice uh, yellow clips clips behind them. Yeah, quite some quite a nice design compared to the previous one. I just put them on my gel platoon just to show you guys. But I won't be using. I might be switching those uh, Norikoms and put them on uh, Natasha compared to this one because Natasha is better with Norikoms than the gel platoon. Because uh, on the first session, I've seen a lot of guys using gel platoon with Norikom just to test the range. But I'll be using the Natasha because the Natasha is more efficient, has more health, and can use the uh, Norikom efficiently. So. I guess I'll be going back to the hangar. So, those who are new to the channel, I'm actually Brawler. I do videos on water bonds. So, if you have any question about the way I'm doing the video, please write it in the comment section down below so I can review them. And also, I might be getting some new experiences if you do share your uh, ideas about how the Roblox robots works in the game. And also uh, sharing your game experience. If you want to battle with me on the game, can you just uh, add me on Facebook? I'll be putting my uh, link on the description. And also, if you want uh, to uh, do a voice chat with me on Discord, you can just uh, comment it and I'll send you the link to the Discord channel. So, if you do like this video, please put the like below and do subscribe if you want to see more of my warbots videos and the test server ones. So, I won't hold back too much. So, this is Akshay Bola signing out. Yeah.